or for anyone that's listening, how would you recommend? What are some indicators for integrity? Of integrity, because everyone would say, "Yeah, I have integrity." I don't think I've met anyone who's like, ah, "I don't know about integrity." So, how do you tell when someone has integrity or versus not? <laughs> Where they do what they say they're going to do, like they say something and that then they they do that thing. You, they very rarely, and I was trained with my son when I say no, I don't change my mind. Now that he's older, I'm open more for inquiry. And if he's like, Dad, I don't understand why you said no, then I'll be like, well, let's go into that. And if his argument is strong enough, I'll change my mind. But now that he's older, but when he was young, no meant no and yes meant yes. Mm-hmm. And I think the- You int- gave him that structure. I gave him the structure. The parameter. I gave it's him- not movable. I was never counting to three going one, two, three, on the count of three. It was like, Oliver, let's go. And if he didn't, I would go over, get down on my knee and look him right in the eye. And I'd be like, you hear me, right? I'm talking to you, right? Mm. And he's like, yeah. And I would get down on his level and I would never bully him with fear. Oliver had tons of structure, my son, mm. but it was guided by love, not fear. Mm. And that's the difference. I was raised with a little bit of fear. Mm-hmm. And the religion was a little bit of fear mm-hmm. of gonna burn in hell forever if you don't right. accept Jesus as your savior. Like that's and my if I could sum up my entire pivotal moment in my life was the journey from fear to love, mm-hmm. having my life be governed by fear and then governed by love. And I've taken that into my parenting, and that's. That is what I look for in the mentors I've chosen as well. If they have a lot of integrity, but they're living their life as terrorists, like tormenting the people around them with their fear, they're not, it's not just integrity I look for mm. in my friends or in myself as an attribute. It's love. And it's, it's loving in a, in a way that my teacher, Kathy, who's taught me everything, she, when Oliver was really young, she, we were camping in Big Sur, and she noticed a way that Oliver was reacting to me. And she goes, you know he's only obeying you because of fear. This is what she said to me. My son was about four at the time. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, he's, he's afraid of you. And she goes, when has he ever come up to you and just like snuggled? And she goes, you have a tapping foot, you're restless, and you're angry. And he is afraid of you. And this was at four. And thank God my teacher came into my life when she did. This is Kathy. And so she goes, get really present, Paul. Take a deep breath. And we were around the fire in Big Sur. And ground yourself. Stop tapping your foot. And get present. And Oliver was running around. like, And his behavior was crazy. And she, and, and she goes, instead of trying to bully him with your energy, Get down on one knee and share with him. The way you're acting, Oliver, doesn't work around the fire where we are. We want you to be here and we love you. But if you're going to act crazy like that, you got to go in the tent, zip it up, and go nuts. Created structure to the chaos. She taught me that all in the same moment. So Oliver went in the tent and he just went nuts in the tent. And he loved it. He was like a wild animal in the tent, <laughs> which didn't work where we are. It's right. dangerous with the fire. Yeah, we were course. trying to have a good conversation yeah, and he was crazy. But I was able, because of her getting present, then and I was like, Oliver, are you ready to come out of the tent? And he's like, not yet. <laughs> and then he went nuts a little bit longer and then he gassed himself out. He comes out, he came over and for the first time, I think in his life, he came, laid his head right on my lap. Mm. and I'm looking at the fire and it was almost sun setting and, and Kathy's there and, the, and, and I just, I'll never forget mm. the moment I learned to connect with my son in a way where he's not afraid of me, mm. where it's coming from love. I'm so moved by what you shared. Thank you so much. That was a very special moment. Thank you so much for sharing with me, for the people that are listening to this. 